Hi, my name is Tina Addison. It is a pleasure to be here today at the Norfolk Senior Center. I want to thank the Friends of the Seniors who are sponsoring this show for the fir third time. My name is Janet Mason and I'm here at the art show today that Tina has organized, which is nice. My name is Gail Brevois. I've been painting watercolor only for a year. And before that, many, many years ago, I yeah, painted I acrylic. Really, way to do but time really it's like starting over. I began painting when I was in high school. I've always been an artsy, crafty kind of person. Um, but when my daughter, Rachel, was about seven years old, I decided it was time for me to learn how to draw. So I took some lessons in that, and then I've taken lessons in watercolors ever since. So probably about 15 years I've been doing this. Well, actually, I retired about four years ago, and I started, um, I started watercolor painting with Levon Sawalski, who uh, used to be a, a third grade art teacher for 30 years. And she inspired me to continue to do art. So I'm still practicing. Uh, on my own, I've always loved painting, and I've always used my hands for things. So, you know, 30 years ago, I, I did some acrylic painting, but um, I didn't take any classes. This time, I took classes in watercolor because really I had had an illness and I, I started doing it as therapy. And then once I got better, I continued with it because I love it. It's like good, good for the soul. I actually am the teacher of the Norfolk Art Group and uh, we've been running now for four years. Uh, this is our third show and uh, I'm just very pleased with everybody's work. I always say I feel like a student in my class. My favorite thing about painting is that in expressing myself creatively, I get so immersed in it that it takes me someplace else. It's very meditative. Today, what I've decided to show are, is mostly work in Norfolk. I love buildings. I think when I come back in my next life, I'm going to be an architect. But um, most of these are um, buildings that you might recognize. Uh, this one up here, uh, that brown one, is Seekonk Street. That's my friend Wendy Archibald. Um, by the way, I called friends. I said, I did a picture of your house. Come and pick it up. That way I got more people to come here today. The one in the gold frame up there, that's actually my house. That's 17 Robin Road. The daisies I did. Um, that actually sold, I'm very pleased to say. Up top here is Elmhurst Farm. That's on Seekonk Street from the back side of it. To the right is Longobardo Farm. Longobardi, I think it is. The horse farm near City Mills in Norfolk. This is Brett's Farm in Norfolk. And this is the old White Farm. The Carlson's own it now. And that's on the corner of Union and Grove. This is a friend of my husband's. Again, I told them, come on over. They live in Medway. I made you a gift, come get it. This is my next door neighbors on 19 Robin Road. And this is what I call the Norfolk skyline. And that's an interesting painting. It has all of our favorite, my favorite, uh, buildings in Norfolk and uh, that's done with two different kinds of pens and I just use water to then because they leak and that ends up being my paint in it. It was interesting I thought oh I can't draw all these buildings I'm just going to copy them and I did that and I thought this looks ridiculous so once when you're not a great drawer if you don't draw well if you can just copy the outside of it it gets your eye used to the drawing so that's what I did I threw away the copy and then I did it by hand. Most of these are from photographs that I took, like the bird's nest is a picture I took of robin's eggs. The, um, you know, the hummingbird, the butterfly, I looked at pictures. scan them. So really, most of it's from nature. Oh, I'll paint anything, just because I need to, to learn. You have to kind of practice everything. I'm using watercolor now because I'm I had never used watercolor in the past. I had done some acrylic painting years ago. And then when I retired, I had the time to learn a new, uh, a new type of painting, and I chose watercolor because it, it was difficult and a challenge. 
The most difficult painting, I think, was the uh, ballerina, only because it's children and their positions and their expressions and their size is all different, but it was the most fun for me to do. Uh, and the, the other ones were the, the children with the, uh, on the ocean, but I enjoyed painting children because my basic field was pediatric nursing. So. Well, this painting here, the uh, cherries, is challenging because it's negative painting. So you're doing washes and drawing, washes and drawing. You're painting behind the objects. And so that just takes a long time. I love doing it. But it does take a long time to do. And then the, the ones that are pink and watercolor are also time consuming. Something the picture of the bird is Carlos, and Ann Fletcher came up to me one day here at the Senior Center and said, I have a gorgeous bird, will you paint it? I said, I hate birds. And, no, I don't hate birds, but I hate doing animals. But I did it, and I think it's my best painting I've ever done. So I said, Ann, come pick up your painting. So she came and got a look. When I first started in watercolors, I remember calling my mother-in-law, who was a very accomplished artist, and I said, oh, Mom, I cannot do this. I feel like I did something that my daughter would do in kindergarten. And she said, Tina, give up control. You're a very controlling person. Now you need to give it up and let the watercolor speak for you. So I went back and I kept trying. I would say you asked it to do five by seven. It's not going to do five that. You by never seven. know it's what's in you until you do it. And I, I've met so many people who say, "Oh, I'm not artistic or I'm not crafty." So but the fact is, anything you do over and over again, you'll get better at. Some things come more easily to some people than others. But my advice would be. Take the risk and get involved, and those, you'll find out something new about one. yourself. It's worth right. it's worth trying. Anybody who wants to join our watercolor class is more than welcome. It's at the senior center, and it's fantastic. We have people from other towns now that are coming, you know, because of Tina, and it's it's really great. So come on in and join us. I love having this class. Uh, the cla the art class here is uh, about 16 people belong to it, and it's. Um, a, a very social, um, active, um, loving group, and we really have a lot of fun together.